In the early lesson, we have seen that there are three different data structures. Structured, unstructured and semi-structured. And we have seen examples of each. But how Python help us organize, store and process each data structure? What options Python language provide us to work with each type of structure? Python provides containers to organize and group data types together in different ways. But what does it mean by organizing and grouping? So far we have seen variables representing individual basic data types such as an integer, a float, a string sentence or a boolean. But what if we have more than one integer number to deal with or many string sentences or mixed data types such as numbers, strings and booleans together. Whenever we deal with multiple data items, we need a way to organize it so we can order, process and manipulate to get insight from it. For that reason, Python provides containers. And the name of these containers are lists, dictionaries, tuples, sets, and data frames. In this lecture, we will cover the ones which are frequently used in accounting and finance. A list is one of the most common and basic data structure in Python. List can contain any mix and match of the data types you have seen so far. That is the data structure that closely reflects unstructured data structure. Lists are great to use when you want to work with many related values. They enable you to keep data together that belongs together. When thinking about Python list, it is useful to consider all the different collections you have on your computer, your song playlist, your browser bookmarks, your emails list, the collection of videos you can access on a streaming services and many more. Lists are used to store multiple items in a single variable. Lists are one of four built-in data types in Python used to store collection of data. The other three are, as I said above, tuples, sets and dictionaries, all with different qualities and usages. Now let's create a list of stocks as an example to understand it better. You can create a list by using square brackets and save it in a variable name portfolio ticker list like this. We add stock ticker symbols. Each stock ticker is a string and separated by a comma. Stock ticker symbols are the short name of the listed companies that used when trading or collecting data from servers. Once a list is created or imported, if it is already created by someone else, the next thing is what you are going to do with it. First, let's see how to access an item in a list. Lists are ordered. And if you would like to see what element is on a position, say two, we can look up that element by index. So to check what stock is on position two, we can write the list variable name, which in this case, portfolio ticker list, followed by open and close square brackets and within brackets an integer two, indicating its position or index and hit run. So a stock PG, that is P and G, is on position 2. As we discussed previously, Python counting or indexing start from 0 rather than from 1. 
it is called zero based indexing so counting from zero p and g is on index position two amazon is on index position three alphabet incorporation which is google's holding company is on position seven if zero based indexing is confusing think in this way an elements index describes how far the element is from the beginning of the list the first element fp is zero elements away from the beginning the second one apple is one element away from the beginning and so on we can also index from the end of the list rather than from the front so for example if you want to see the last stock ticker in the list you can do this by using negative indices the index negative 1 refers to the last element of the list negative 2 to the second to the last and so on if you try to access an index that does not exist in the list such as this one there is no element on position 15 as there are only 12 items you will get an error list index error is python's way of telling you that the element you are trying to access does not exist in the list the list example we have seen all have string data types element but the list can have a mix of all data types for example take this list with a variable name mixed data types it has an integer a float string and a boolean Let's save this list in the variable and access individual item using indexing like this. So far we have seen that we can pull out one element from a list. But what if we want to see more than one item? Suppose we want to see first five stock tickers in the list, which are FP. AAPL which is Apple, PG, Amazon and Microsoft MSFT. In this case we will use Python's slicing technique or more appropriately called slicing notation to pull out our piece of a slice or a subset. Here we are accessing the first five stocks and saving it in a variable first five stocks let's see how we can construct this code first we are writing the variable first five stocks then the list name that has all stock symbols followed by open square bracket and close square bracket and within brackets our slice starting point followed by a colon and a slice ending point to get our first five desired stocks the code will look like this starting point of zero and end point is five please note that the index position five is sixth stock in the list why is that that is because python follows the half open zero based interval convention so when using slicing it is important to remember that the lower index is inclusive and the upper index is exclusive let's see a shortcut way of obtaining the same five stocks if you would like to make a slice that begins at the very beginning of the original list you can omit the starting index point like this if you would like to see the last items say last three in the list one way of doing is like this as you know that there are 12 stocks in our list the index starts from 0 and ends at 11 so last three stock index position will be 9 10 and 11 
and the code will look like this starting from index 9 to the end. Alternatively, you can index from the end of a list by using negative values.